Hi guys, um, so today I'm going to be doing my fake tan routine. Now I'm not going to be showing you how I apply fake tan because I just think that's a bit weird. And I think we all know how to put fake tan on a mitt and rub it on your body. Um, but I'm just going to be talking about like, my favourite fake tans, what I do to fake tan, just talking about fake tan. I've never really been an avid fake tanner. I've never been someone that always constantly will be like, I need that dark brown glow. Like, I'm never someone that needs the tan. I just kind of plod through life and I'm fine with my natural colour. Um, I think that's mainly because I've never found anything that's been absolutely groundbreaking um, within the fake tan boundaries. Um, but back in the day, I used to use the Saint Tropez mousse, so just like the normal mousse. And I gave it to one of my friends to use, like, couple of years ago and I never got it back so that's just like how it goes so then I never really used that again because it's quite expensive and it, well I didn't use it enough to warrant spending that amount of money on it um and then for the past couple of years I've used the Garnier um gradual tan um the one you get in like the weird like hourglass shaped bottle I suppose uh, it's like the orangey bottle and I had it in the color dark and I used to put it on maybe like two nights in a row and I'd be the color that I wanted to be um, and that's just the one I used. I never used a proper fake tan because I couldn't find anything that I really liked. I have eczema on my arms just here and I find it really difficult to find something that doesn't cling to those patches. Um, I also have really dry hands and even with the amount of hand cream, they just are not gonna get not dry. Um, and also because I'm not really that bothered about it. So the gradual tan was really moisturizing and it's just was really nice and something that I could just use and wouldn't necessarily be awful. Um, I would really recommend that one, I think it's great as a gradual tan, I think it's really, really good. And especially getting the dark one because you literally put it on a couple of times and then you're the colour that you want to be. However, a couple of weeks ago, I popped into Superdrug to get a new tanning mitt. Um, I feel like this is like a story of my life video. Um, but I popped in to get a new tanning mitt in Superdrug and I saw these. Now, these are uh, Naked Skin Self Tans and these are by Vita Liberate or however you say it. These are by that brand. Now, back in the day, I remember Visa Liberate being kind of a really good fake tan brand and people talking about it quite a lot. Now, it used to be not ridiculously expensive, but more expensive than me as like a 15 year old girl could have afforded. Um, and then, so I saw these and recognized the name and these were like 12, 14 pounds. I thought I'll give it a go. So I picked up this one a couple of weeks ago and this is the Tinted Tan Mousse in Medium. I really like the packaging, I think it's great. It's really like modern. You've got kind of a really good looking girl at the front with some tan on and I like the packaging, I think it's great. So it really like caught my eye. Anyway, picked this one up because I thought, well, I'm not gonna be a dark shade yet. At the end of the day, I'm just my average winter shade. So I don't need a dark, dark fake tan, I want medium. But they didn't have the, the medium colour in the liquid in the soup drug. So I was like, oh, right, okay, I'll just get the mousse. I do prefer a liquid, but I thought at the end of the day, I don't want to be too dark. So I got this mousse in medium. So I got it home and used it. I was a bit apprehensive because I'm not that good at fake tan. Or I never used to think I was very good at fake tan. I had never really done it that much. And so I was, wasn't very confident with it at all. Um, so I got it on my mitt, put it all over my body and that was it. So it did cling quite badly to the dry patches on my arms. But I expected it. It's a mousse. It's, it dries quick. It's not a liquid. And at the end of the day, I just expected it. So it cling quite badly. But not as bad as maybe I thought it would. And it cling quite badly to my wrists like here and here. Because I do get dry patches here too. And on my hands it was quite bad. But... I expect that because my skin is like that. It's not necessarily like it would happen to everyone. It's only if you have severe dry patches. I felt like it didn't streak at all. It didn't smell at all in the slightest until I went to bed. And then if I woke up in the middle of the night, I could definitely smell it. And in the morning, I could smell it. Uh, my only thing was I could smell it on my sheets. But there was no, there's no like marks on the bed. You could have just change the bed in. And also, when I get in the shower, I can still smell it. Even if it's like eight days after you've had the fake tan on you get in the shower and you can smell it so that's my only thing if, if you put this fake tan on before you went on holiday i'm thinking maybe you get to the beach you go in the sea or you go in the pool and then you start smelling the fake tan um i don't know if just water activates it i don't know but generally you can't smell this fake tan at all and in the day or anything in nobody said to me oh you smell a fake tan whereas i've had that with the fake tans before and that is just embarrassing so after getting this one and being really really impressed with it didn't streak it didn't do anything wrong it was just absolutely perfect it was a really nice color however it wasn't quite dark enough i did think to myself i was like this is kind of practically my natural color um it wasn't anything that dark um so the next time i popped into super drug i got this one and this is the tinted tan liquid in dark now, what I find really weird about this, it's a spray bottle. Like, it's not like a pumpy liquid, it's a spray. 
So I used this one as soon as I got it and I sprayed it onto my mitt and I was like, that is a bit weird. It's just like a spray and I thought it's not going to go very far. But it was the best fake tan I've ever used in my life by far. Again, it didn't streak, but this time it didn't cling to dry patches at all in the slightest. Um, and the fact I have a severe eczema on my arms and on my wrists and definitely on my hands, it didn't even cling in the slightest and I'm so surprised at that, like majorly, majorly surprised. It was so, so good. It's given me this really, really nice tan. Not like you'll be able to tell now because I'm completely covered up. My, my legs have got a really nice colour on them and my tummy. And I've had this on for a, over a week now and it hasn't streaked at all. Um, and I have a shower every single day. It's faded but in a really nice way and I literally couldn't rave about this enough. I think it's about £14. Uh, but seriously, it was so, so good. I want to mention a lot of people when they're talking about fake tan always go, right, you need to exfoliate, moisturise, all this, like have this massive thing before you fake tan. I don't do that, all I do is make sure that my legs are shaved so that it doesn't cling weirdly to hairs and you don't have to shave your legs when you then have fake tan on because I think that can be a bit of a bad situation. Um, I do have this which is the Rimmel Sun Shimmer Pre-Tan Exfoliator um, and I've used it once and it was fine but I never ever ever like, exfoliate before fake tan and literally that is horrendous, I know it is. But I can't be bothered. I normally fake tan in the evening and I've had a shower in the morning. Always forget. And then in the evening I'm like, oh, I'll fake tan. I don't want to then get back in the shower, exfoliate, get out of the shower and then put fake tan on. No, I don't want to do that. So I've never, ever, ever exfoliated really before I put fake tan on. And it hasn't made a difference to me. It's never come to dry patches. So I think it's a load of rubbish, but um, I don't know. I'm not an expert on fake tan in the slices, but I haven't heard much about these at all from anyone on YouTube or blogs or anything. So I wanted to just give it a little bit of a shout out that these are really, 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 really good. Um, if you've got dry patches, I would not recommend this one. Um, however, I do think it is a good fake tan. Just if you have got dry patches, don't go for it. But that's generally with a mousse, don't go for it. It does dry very quickly, whereas this one takes a little bit longer to dry as it is a liquid. But seriously, I can't. This, this is my love. Um, but also, I just want to say, I am generally, I am quite olive toned on my skin. I am... I don't know if you can see, I am generally quite olive toned, I am quite darkish. Um, I don't ever go ridiculously pale, um, so I probably should have picked the dark up to start with, but they don't go that dark like the shade. So I would, if you are olivey toned, skin toned, same kind of as me, then I would recommend getting the dark one. If you are light, obviously they do do a light one, but the medium isn't that dark at all, just a little warning. And if you are kind of fake tanning for the first time or any time really, I just want to say, and a lot of people say this, a tanning mitt is essential. Don't fake tan with your hands, it's just such a rookie error. You will end up with it like patches everywhere and your hands will be black and it's just not a good look just get a tan in mitt and then it makes things so much easier that was a bit of a rambly video about this amazing fake tan but i just wanted to kind of let you know because it is so so good so thank you very much for watching guys i really appreciate it as we're coming up to the summer i thought it was kind of an appropriate video um talking about fake tan like tanning and stuff um so thank you very much for watching and i will speak to you all very soon bye